This video will discuss the concept of vector space and subspace. So let's first take a look at the definition of vector space. Essentially, vector space is just a set of objects, say v1 to vn, where there is two operations, addition as well as scalar multiplication that is defined on this set and on all the elements in this set. And if these two operations, uh, addition and scalar multiplication, satisfy the following condition from 1 to 8, then we call this set V a vector space. And one example of a vector space will be R2. And let's check condition A and condition B for R2. And let's say if we have two vectors from R2, say 1, 0, as well as 0, 1. And the condition A states that if u and v are any element in v, then u plus v is in v. So 1, 0 and 0, 1 are elements of R2. And 1, 0 plus 0, 1 is 1, 1. And 1, 1 is certainly in R2. And this makes condition A satisfied, since the addition of two vectors in R2 is also in R2. And this is called close under uh, addition. And let's, let's check condition B. If u is any element in V, and let's say if we have a uh, vector 1, 0 that is in R2, and we have a real number uh, 2, which is a real number, and 2 times 1, 0 will give you 2 and 0, which is also in R2. This satisfies condition B, which says that if u is any element in V and c is any real number, then c scalar multiplication u is in V. And this is also called uh, close under scalar multiplication. So essentially, if we can find any set that has these two operations defined on this entire set, and this operation satisfy uh, all this condition that is listed below, then this set can be called a vector space. On the other hand, if any of these conditions, say 1 or 2, is violated by any set, uh, then this set cannot be called a vector space. Now that we have a basic understanding of, of what a vector space is, now let's look at subspace. If we have a vector space V, and we have a subset of V, W. If W satisfies the following three conditions, then we can say W is a subspace of V. And the first condition is that W is non-empty. And this is the notation for empty set. And this basically means that W has to contain a vector or an element from V. And condition 2 says that W is closed under addition, which is same as condition A for vector space. And it basically says that if we have two vectors U and V in W, then the sum of these two vectors, u plus v, has to be in w as well. And the third condition is the same as condition b for vector space. And it basically says that if we have a real number c and any vector u in w, then we will have to have c times u also in w. And this is also called close under scalar multiplication. So if W is a subset of a vector space and W satisfies the following three 
properties then we can call w a subspace of v most of the questions in this midterm is related to vector space and subspace usually test the concept of a subspace they will usually give you a subset of a certain vector space and ask you to check for the following three properties and uh, give a conclusion if W is a subspace or if it's not. So basically you have to go through one by one and see if, if W is empty and see if W is closed under addition and check if W is closed under scalar multiplication and if all those properties are true for W then W is a subspace of V. If any of them fail then W is not a subspace of V.